What's up guys? I'm here working on the Razor again. I got my lock and ride front windshield. I haven't took the uh, protective layer off of it yet because I'm going to be installing an oil pressure gauge on this machine just to make sure I got oil pressure because uh, that's the leading cause of death on a most rangers and razors and four wheelers is people out uh, having oil pressure, losing oil pressure, or not having oil in it, which I check my oil, but not as much as I should. You know, that's a common problem with most people. You know, just that's something sometimes you forget, especially on a side by side, you just get in and go. So I'm going to put an oil pressure gauge in just so I make sure I got enough oil pressure because I don't want to have to dish out the uh, lots of money that one of these engine costs. I got me a uh, gauge or a pod, roll bar, pod uh, mount biometer. It's uh, part number 48006 and I got a sport comp 3327 oil pressure gauge. I don't have the fittings and everything to uh, wire that up. I thought about going with uh, Team Arabia. I think it's uh, Team Arabia. I think it's Arabia, isn't it? Yeah. That uh, They make an oil pressure gauge kit. Uh, comes with the fittings, gauge, and it blends in really well to the factory matched uh, gauge. And I thought about using it, uh, but I would still probably use it in conjunction with the automator pod. I'm going to go ahead and mount this gauge in it for now. I don't have the stuff to wire it up anyways. I'm just going to mount it and see how I like it. But uh, yeah, I got a roof also to put on. I also got a set of Pro Armor. Three inch harnesses, red, that are going to be putting in this machine. After riding one of the harnesses, that's a mandatory thing. So yeah, guys, we'll catch you later and give you some updates of what this uh, gauge pod looks like. So, see you in a minute. What's up, everybody? Got the oil pressure gauge mounted right there, which is looking pretty good. Yes, I took the windshield off, by the way. Uh, it's Albia. Racing is who makes that oil pressure gauge. I don't know why I was getting Arabia. It's Albia who makes the oil pressure gauge kit for these. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, autometer. I'm thinking I might paint this bezel. I'm going to look up how you take these off if you can. And I paint that white to make it blend in with these. The Albia one matches this gauge a little bit better. I'll probably put a blue LED in that so it blends in with the factory blue backlight of that. If it will even get close to matching it anyways. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Voila. Now it's going to be scratched. Which if I'm going to do anything modification wise up under the hood or something, I will definitely take them off. I went with this style, not the flat mount. I probably should have went with the glass and then put a wiper on it because then later on I could have put a cab system. But I'm going with the plastic group, which I can't buy the upper doors anyways. So yeah. That looks good. I like that right there. I'll probably give me a water temperature gauge after that one looks good. I'll probably mount it right above it. It may be a voltage gauge, I don't know. I don't really need a voltage gauge because I can just toggle through a voltage gauge here. But I could toggle through a water temp gauge here also. Just because it's 59 degrees. And my heater's on, 12.5 volts. All that. But I'll leave that on my tack. And then I'll have my water temp and my oil pressure right there. So then I won't overheat this machine uh, or lose oil pressure. And if I notice the oil pressure gauge has got no low oil pressure or something, I can shut it off before I do a lot of damage to the machine. Uh, before I do extensive engine damage and possibly just do some uh, minor uh, lower end <laughs> engine damage, like I need an oil pump or such or need to add some oil. Because I do not want to forget to check oil on this thing. I don't plan on it because this thing is expensive. This is a nick expensive machine. Very expensive. But I think it's worth it, so I'll have fun with it. Got my roof here. I'm going to go ahead and put my roof on. I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, other piece of... Voila! Windshield. I love it. Got room for the gauge pod, and I'll just run a wire back there for that, run down that hole. So yeah, cool guys, looking good. We'll catch you later, 
in a bit when I get the roof installed and possibly get started on the harnesses. Catch you in a bit. What's up guys? I got the roof on and I got the driver's side harness in. I didn't get the passenger side in because I only had enough hardware to do the driver's side. I gotta get some more washers and two other things. But I'll do that Monday because we're closed. I got, I think our parts guy left today, so for the day. So it is New Year's, so he's gotta go home and be with his family, so you know. I don't blame him, but I've sat and got the front driver's seat set up. Oh, I also added some flags. I did some rally flags. I got I just went up there earlier when I got my bolts and uh got me some flags. So cool. I can now one step, now I just need a slimming vehicle sign and I can drive this in my uh, city limits. I'm going to probably build me a custom uh, slow moving vehicle sign, one that flips down because I don't know, I'm going to put it right there. I've seen them there. They don't look too bad down on the exhaust. But I want to make one, I think, on the spare tire carrier when I get a spare tire carrier. I like this gauge. I've automatically, well, not automatically, I've made a decision. I'm getting a water temperature gauge to put there. To put there. This is about where your head is. So this is basically what you'll see. You'll see the oil pressure gauge there. I'm thinking, like I said earlier, I'm thinking about painting this white because I think that would look a lot better because I'm blending with this and this. I actually thought I would paint these red because it wouldn't get as dirty if those were red. Yep, got the console back in. You got to take the console out. Yeah, and it's uh, looking all right. Like the roof, got plenty of room in here to put my uh, sound system, my uh, console, uh, uh, Swamp Donkey, I think, who makes it. Not real sure, pretty sure it's Swamp Donkey who makes it. So, yeah, I'm gonna do probably two, uh, I'm gonna do a Sony or Sony uh, Amplified Deck. Uh, their amplified head unit they make and I'm going to do kicker uh, marine speakers the ones that light up colors up here and I'm probably going to get the pieces from uh, oh, what's that company that makes all the enclosures for these I'll probably put there and there and the, the, the get those pods and put two down there I thought about getting the subwoofer underneath the uh, glove box but I don't know Really, why why put a sub in this thing though? Because you're not gonna. It's not an enclosed vehicle. It's not. You're never gonna get the full effect of it. And I've heard them kickers on an amplifier, and they sound fantastic. Really, they got good bass. And the amplifier they were on was about uh, what this head unit puts out. A little more, but probably about pretty good what the head unit puts out. And uh, I think they'll sound good. I think they'll be plenty loud for me to hear them while I'm driving this thing at 8,500 RPM. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that gauge is awesome. I'm going to have to do another one. I might even do a third one. I'm not sure yet. Sport Comp, you got a lot of options. In the black, in the font. The font is different, which is not a big deal to me. I mean, it's, it looks all right. I like it. Uh, yeah, went with, I could have went with some Speed Hut and designed my own gauge, but I went with Automator because I'm a personal fan of Automator myself. And... I think they make good products. So, yeah, that's why I went with Automator. And they're pretty reasonably priced, really. Sport cops are, anyways. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head out. Apparently, you can mount a bunch of stuff up here. <laughs> they had a bunch of different spots to mount different things. Probably going to get the rear taillight kit because I think they look good with the taillights. Definitely going to be putting a... Uh, uh, some off-road lights of some kind up on the roof thinking a big light bar and maybe two little light bars I've got light brackets for here but I don't think they're going to work unless my bracket is able to clear this window I might have to trim my window or space my brackets out a little bit We'll figure that out when we get it. That's the that's not a big deal. I've already got the lights and I ordered the brackets, but the brackets are like twenty some bucks, so if they don't work. Sorry about that.
I just got cut off, so my storage on my phone was full, so I had to delete some videos. And, uh, yeah, now I'm back. So, yeah, I was just saying, if they don't fit, it's no big deal. I'll throw them on a machine up in the display, uh, showroom and display them. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. I don't have much space left. Uh, we'll catch you in the next couple of videos. I'm hoping you're enjoying uh, the something new for 2016. This is uh, December 30. First, or is I can't. Remember. I think it's, it, it's it's the day before New Year's. What well, is New Year's? It's gonna be New Year's Eve. It's dark outside. I got shit to do. So catch you later, guys.